Uh, I just wanted to uh, put out there a thank you, Google uh, 2024. I only discovered Google in 2013, and I really meant to say thank you, but I notice now they've got a Google Play and it's charging. And for all these years, uh, Google Docs, uh, Google Information, you can Google any information in the maps, and it's just unbelievable. You could get a college education for free off Google, and all for free. And I always meant to say thank you uh, to the founders, um, but I kind of went out of my head until I saw the thing that now they've got something where they're charging. Uh, but they haven't changed to anything else. Everything else is still free. Uh, I lived most of my life in libraries starting in 1947 when I was seven years old, uh, trying to research why I was crippling and diseases and um, psychotic behavior of my parents. <laughs> and I, I had a real battle, but I got uh, special permission uh, to go into the adult library. Uh, but um, I, I did all my research by phone and by driving uh, in my car to meet people in person in a gas mask. But I had the bubble then because <clears throat> back then if I wore the gas mask covering my face, people wouldn't talk to me. So MSA in Pittsburgh sent me the bubble mask and donated to my research. And... Uh, and I'm very grateful to all those Americans that helped me uh, because it was an awful lot of work and in 1989 I flew to New York City uh, to talk to a doctor and get information and the majority of my research I got the help of biochemists and scientists uh, most of them were American <clears throat> because in Canada there was no real up-to-date information and in fact there still isn't uh, I did not get the internet proficient until about 2013, and thanks to a friend, Len Boise, I lost 18 years of research and the entire history of my family of 400 years, and all those photographs and everything I had online with Microsoft. God, I hate that company. Uh, but um, he got me on Apple, and we uh, did my website, and he taught me how to use Google. Um, and okay, now they do make some mistakes, but it's not their fault. Companies do not upgrade. And if you're looking for parts on vehicles like my 2010 Jeep Wrangler, it's been missing for almost two years. I have no four-wheel drive. You won't get any information on Google because uh, you can't get any information from the company that makes them. So that's not Google's fault. It's all the companies are the problem. And I know some people blame Google because they don't understand this, how the system works. And including a vegetarian pizza. It's still showing online, but it's been discontinued for almost three years. But that's, again, not Google's fault. That's the company. Um, but uh, what I enjoy so much now that I'm stuck indoors so much and I my legs... The tumor and nerve damage is so bad, I can't dance even in, indoors. I used to dance in my bedroom. Can't do that. I've lost my balance. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to ski this year. Um, it might be too dangerous for me. I don't know, but I'm going to try. But I, like I say, uh, I, I really enjoy looking up the actors in old movies. <laughs> Every time there was a movie, I, I used to... In Toronto, I would go to uh, a, a movie theater that had old movies, and then I would go to the library and I would look up all the uh, the actors, their life, and uh, their relationships, and their families, and their friends. I always wanted to know how they did in life, but much to my surprise, um, I, I've actually already outlived most of the rich and famous. Uh, so all those dollars did not save them from suffering from too long a list of diseases that could have been prevented. Um, just recently, Kathleen, 
uh, Celeb is only uh, 70 years old. She's had surgery for her back, her knees, her hips, and in her home she fell and broke her pelvis. Oh my God! I lost three friends to who fell and it, it, they died. That that you know you can actually uh, do so much damage if you fall, particularly in a home, and that's being ignored. But. Uh, you have to be really careful. I know I got a lot of junk in this apartment, and and if I didn't have all the years of dancing and skiing, I still have a little bit of balance. Uh, I have nearly fallen a thousand and one times, uh, but um, and, and and although at 83 I slowed down a lot, but I have healed all my broken bones from all the violence and reversed all the brain damage and much of the nerve damage. And so thank you, Google. Uh, I have been able to change my diet many times and find out that, uh, for instance, kale was poisoning me for five years. And I found out on Google that it can be extremely toxic with oscillate uh, acid. And it's called a superfood. Well, you can keep your superfoods. Some of these superfood fads, they've really made me sick. But um, so far, uh, all my research is on Google Docs. And just in case YouTube or Wix shuts me down, I'm hoping it'll, that something of my okra for life diet detox will survive for hundreds of years. And uh, some of my fashions, that stupid Microsoft destroyed, but I still have a couple. I made a knit skirt in 1975, and I was able to wear it right up until 2017. And then I lost it to fraud. It disappeared. And right now I'm busy cutting out uh, my new summer shorts pattern to fit my tumor and my pot belly. I'm gaining a lot of weight. I'm, I, I'm over 150 pounds, and that's not a good thing. My legs can't handle it, but, you know, when you can't exercise and you can't go outside and you can't walk and you can't do the swings and you can't go anywhere except at a grocery cart in Walmart, it's not a lot of fun. So it's really hard for me with my diet right now. I've been sugar binging, but uh, I'm never going to get perfect, you know, but right I just wanted again to say thank you to Google and bless all my friends and the people that post on Facebook. I thank you so much. It, it, it lifts me up to see you having a good time. Um, I'm kind of like a voyeur. If I can't do it, I enjoy seeing what you're doing. So I thank you for sharing, everybody. And God bless you, Google. Thank you so, so much. I hope you will continue to be free because you're the only place where we can get the truth on history and, and, and you're educated, the younger generation. Thank you. Over and out.